Hello, today I'm going to show you how to draw a snowman. Let's make a new document, go to File, New and click OK. Let's change the stroke color to None and double click on the color box. Type C6F1FF for the number and press Enter. Press L for the ellipse tool and holding the Shift and Alt keys on your keyboard draw a circle. Open the gradient panel, click on the blue color hold and move it to the gradient slider. Change the type to radial, press G for the gradient tool, click somewhere here hold and drag it down, then let it go. Press V to select it. And now we will make another circle like this one, but a little smaller. Press S for the scale tool, press Enter and type 60 for the uniform, then click Copy. Press V to select it and holding the Shift key on your keyboard, move it up. Now we will add a shadow to the bottom. Select the big circle and holding the Shift and Alt keys on your keyboard, move it to the left to make a copy. Now let's resize it. Press G for the gradient tool, click in the center, hold and drag it down. Next, click on the little black circle, hold and drag it to the side. Now let's reverse the gradient and adjust the color. Press V to select it and move it under the snowman. Now press the Ctrl and left bracket keys to send it to the back. Let's close the gradient window and now we'll draw eyes. Select and copy the top circle. Change the fill color to black. Go to Effect, Distort and Transform and Roughen. Check the preview box, change the size to 3 and the detail to 6. Click OK. Go to Object and choose Expand Appearance. Let's resize it. Zoom in. Select the eye and move it right about here. And make a copy. Now we are going to create a smile. Let's copy one of the eyes and move it to the side. Resize it. Copy and paste. Select both. Go to Object, Blend and choose Blend Options. Change the spacing to specified steps and type 3. Click OK. Go to Object, Blend and choose Make. Now go to Effect, Warp and choose Arc. Set the band to negative 54 and click OK. Now let's move it down and resize it. Next we will make a nose. Select the Polygon tool, press Enter and type 20 for the radius and 3 for the sides. Click OK. Press A for the direct selection tool. Click on the top anchor point, hold and drag it up. Let's resize it and rotate it. Now open the gradient panel, then go to swatches and select dark orange. Click on the color hold and move it to the gradient slider. Now move the white color box to the center and holding the Alt key on your keyboard, choose the dark yellow color. 
Now click on the orange box, press and hold the Alt key on your keyboard and move it to the other side. Change the type to linear and change the direction of the gradient. Next, we will round the corners. Select the triangle, go to Effect, Stylize and choose Round Corners. Change the radius to 7 and click OK. Close the gradient window and place the nose on the face. Next we'll draw a twig. Change the fill color to brown. Zoom in. Select the pen tool and draw a simple twig. Now we'll add buttons. Go to the selection tool. Select the eye and holding the Shift and Alt keys on your keyboard, move it down to copy it. And let's make two more copies. Now we'll draw a hat. Select the pen tool and draw half of the hat. Now go to Effect, 3D and choose Revolve. Let's resize it and place it on the head. And if you like, you can add a scarf. I'm going to use my custom brushes I've created before. Select the Paintbrush tool, select the brush and start drawing. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.